Here's a distinction D.C. and Northern Virginia would love to shed. Armored car robbery capital of the country. Not exactly a great title no. for sure. Just this week, guards shot and killed another would-be robber. Bruce LeShan reports a Herndon company is building a truck that it hopes will deter the bandits. At Alpine Armoring in Herndon, the penultimate deterrent. It stops high-power rifle, AK-47, and 1630 6 it is the $140,000 level A9 CIT cash-in transit truck. This is where the guard would be sitting. Three separate compartments, nearly two-inch layered ballistic glass, quarter-inch hardened steel armor. There is no way you can get into the cargo area, even if you have the key. Here is how tough that ballistic glass is. These are rounds from a sniper rifle like the one John Muhammad used. These are actually from an M16. All of them stopped. Why did you rob the bank? Because uh, that's where the money is. <laughs> actually, there is often far more money in a truck than in a bank teller's drawer. And the robbers often come better armed and more willing to commit violence. How much money could you fit in here? You could do a billion. A billion dollars. Yeah. In here. In here. We have two hinges. Hinges on the outside, hinges on the inside. If for whatever reason you're attacked and they get a hold of your hinges on the outside, you can deploy a deadbolt system. Alpine designed this truck for central banks around the world. But it says American armored transport companies might want to step up. You're looking at a gun port. It allows you to fire from within the vehicle to the outside. Run flat tires, a shielded radiator, all designed to escape trouble, although it cannot stop a rocket-propelled grenade. If we see that happen, believe me, Bruce, we're going to come back with, the, the, with, the, an, RPG with an RPG protected vehicle that costs about 30, 40 grand more. And despite all the armor, when the guards step outside, they are still vulnerable. In Herndon, Bruce Lachan, 9 News Now. Now back in February, a pl platoon of 70 heavily armed D.C. police and FBI agents confronted three men stalking an armored car with an AK-47 and handguns. They were so worried about the potential for violence, they were taking no chances.